So hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katera Lachey. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, girl. Join the family because I'm excited to give y'all the tea. Now, if you're not familiar with my page, I am giving you guys the gems and the tips on all things entrepreneurship and self-development. But I just want to help you and give you all of the tips and things that I wish I knew before I started my online business. And also, if you guys don't know what I do, I am a stay-at-home mom who runs an online business selling digital products. I create my own digital products as well as selling already done for you digital products. Now, if you're interested in getting started reselling digital products that you don't have to create, you don't have to think so hard about it, you can check out my description where you can get started with either the UBC, the ultimate branding course, where it's going to teach you everything that you need to know how to create content, how to market, how to sell, how to brand all of your digital products. And my mentorship comes with that course for free, or I have other options down below as well. But if you're looking for other options on just ideas, maybe you've been thinking about starting this online business and y'all, I'm holding my mic today. I normally have it clipped on me, but I'm feeling like I want to move around a little bit extra. So that's why I'm holding it. But I also wanted to make this video because maybe some of you guys are wanting to start a digital product business and maybe you want to be a little different. You don't know what else to create. Or I'm about to give you 20 digital product ideas that you can create and start monetizing yourself online okay so let's just jump right into it so of course the very first thing is ebooks we all know that ebooks are like the thing that everyone is very familiar with ebooks can be a simple guide or a book online where you're teaching people how to do something okay ebooks are a great way for people who are not really wanting to invest into a course just yet they're pretty easy to create you don't have to you know do a whole like video production process you can really just create it in canva and if you're interested in learning how to create i did just create a video that you can go check out right here or will it be It'll be one of these little icons right here, but you can go check that video out as soon as you get done watching this one. Now, number two are online courses. This is a great option for you if you're if you're more comfortable being in front of a camera. But as I mentioned, guys, nowadays there are already done for you digital marketing courses or just courses in general that are already created for you that you can also resell and you don't have to worry about the production of a course. But if you're wanting to teach something different, you can create your own course based off of whatever you want to teach. I created my own Pinterest course because, of course, I love Pinterest and I know how to market digital products on Pinterest. But just figure out your expertise, figure out what you want to create, and then just go for it. Just do it. Don't think too hard about it. Now, number three is stock photos. I know a lot of us have never even thought of this. I didn't even think of this, but I just signed up for a platform to where I can share my stock videos and images to this platform so that people can utilize them for their faceless accounts. So I know a lot of you guys have been seeing faceless marketing and it's very popular over on Instagram, but if you're wanting to get into faceless marketing and you're already creating content for your, maybe for your Instagram page and sometimes maybe you're going for a walk and you're just showing like your shoes or maybe you are a hairstylist and you're just showing your, you know, showing how you're doing someone's hair. Those can be utilized as faceless content and you can share these to different platforms and sell your content so that other people can utilize it for their faceless accounts. And they can also use it for other marketing materials that they also might do to generate income. I'm not gonna keep counting y'all because I'm not sure what number I'm on. The next thing is web templates. A lot of people wanna create websites. They want to know exactly how to um, generate, like create a cute and cohesive website for their brand. And if you know how to create websites that are beautiful and aesthetically pleasing, why not give people templates? People love done for you things. That's why I said done for you products right now are popping off right now. So why not be the one to create some done for you website templates and sell them to people who just want something that they can just throw up and just add their information in and go on about their day. You can price them at anything and people need websites for platforms like Shopify, WordPress, or Squarespace. So you be the plug <laughs> and create some web, some website templates. Now, the next thing is digital planners. I know a lot of people create digital planners, but make it unique. A lot of people need to know how to be organized for various different things. For me, I'm a mom, so I used to need to know how to organize and juggle my life. Sometimes I just got overwhelmed because I was like, how do I keep my baby on a schedule if I can't even keep myself on a schedule? So even just creating planners for people like mothers, content creators, business owners, and figure out what struggles they're having and then your planner should be the solution. But people need to know how to stay organized. I am learning and I'm in the process of wanting to be more organized. So 
Like I was saying, be the plug. You can be the one to change people's lives through your planner. Principal artwork is the next thing. If you're an artist, if you know how to utilize Photoshop or you use other platforms, I'm really not sure what platforms you can use for um, digital artwork, but digital artwork is also another thing that you can sell. And honestly, it's very popular on Etsy. I don't personally recommend Etsy <laughs> to sell digital products on, but I have been seeing it and I've been seeing people just do it basic as like putting a picture of a puppy on some Canva backdrop and putting it as like a printable on Etsy. So guys, don't sleep on the various different ways that you can make money. Printable artwork is the very next thing that you can jump into to start making money online, okay? Now the next thing is digital consulting packages. I know a lot of you guys know something. You know something that you can teach other people how to do. Why not become a consultant, whether that's a business consultant, a content creator consultant, a food critic, like, we know Keith Lee and so that he found his lane. So just figure out what your lane is, figure out what you can kind of help people construct and then maybe become a consultant. I help people with their Pinterest accounts. I help people get started with their digital product businesses. So once again, if you would like my help, you can comment down below, check out the resources in my description to get started. But I'm here and I really call myself like a business and marketing mentor or a consultant coach, whatever you want to call me. But I'm here to help. So I found my lane and I offer consultant services. So figure out your lane and offer consultation. Now you can also offer content creation bundles. If you're looking to become a content creator, you do not need 10,000 followers to become an influencer. I started my influencer journey with 50 followers y'all. And although I wasn't getting paid just yet, I was getting gifted collabs and I started getting paid collabs at like 200 followers. So if you guys want more videos about that, comment that down below as well. But offer your bundles people want video content especially businesses so offer your services to businesses especially local businesses to your city or your hometown like y'all you will be shocked at how much people will pay for a package of so many hooks so many so much um raw footage and then some closing videos like they will pay for that because they can turn those videos into so many different videos that you'll be like, dang, I didn't know you could flip it in. So make sure that you're charging the price. But this can also be another great source of digital products that you can sell. Now, the next thing is virtual event planning kits. You can develop and sell virtual event planning kits and guys to help people with organizing their events. Uh, even for workshops and virtual conferences, like even just if you want to give people their like templates, like you create their whole marketing materials, you create their templates for their social media posts, for their emails, all of that. If you have those skills, package them up and market to people that host conferences or they host um, webinars and things like that. I know I would invest in that. So if you have those skills such as copywriting, graphic design, that is your lane, okay? <laughs> so you can also offer podcast production services or even just like editing services, video editing, anything like that. People, like podcasts are popping right now. If you wanna get into something, <laughs> you can also start a podcast. If you love to talk, that's a great avenue to go down. But if you know how to edit and properly help someone market their podcast, that can also be a way for you to sell digital products by creating that production package for them to market and sell and to market their podcast so y'all i'm telling you guys just figure out what's trending figure out what where there's a gap and fill that gap now the next thing is virtual assistant starter kits i tried to be a virtual assistant but when i did get started i wish that i knew that i should have had in place some emails that i was going to send out to different businesses to kind of like pitch myself maybe i would have needed to know like how much it costs to get a computer how many different things can you write off as a virtual assistant like there's various different things people need to know and i'm not really sure what all people will want in a virtual assistant package but you also can contain templates guides and resources for individuals who are wanting to start a virtual assisting business so the next thing is brand identity kits. In today's online space, branding and marketing is very important. And if you don't know how to effectively and efficiently brand and market yourself on social media, you will get lost in the sauce, okay? Take it from me. That's why I offer you guys the ultimate branding course because I'm telling you, if you don't know marketing and branding, it's really gonna make it hard for you to make a way for yourself in the online space. So create brand identity kits for people and their businesses, even their personal brands, to help their social media accounts look a little bit more cohesive. Now, your girl really needs this as well, some content writing packages, okay? 
<laughs> because I always run out or I can never figure out sometimes what to say in my captions on my Instagram reels. And this would be very helpful for me because even in my email, sometimes I'm just like, okay, I've said that before. What do I say today? How do I keep my audience engaged? So like, even it, like, once again, like I was saying earlier, copywriting and content writing packages, people need to know, especially if you can write blogs, you can write copy for like YouTube descriptions, you can write emails, you can write captions. Oh, trust me, you will make some bank, okay? So literally, if you know that you're great at writing, you know that you have the gift of gab and you know how to get in people's ear, then offer this in your services to other people. Now, the next thing is SEO and optimization services. Now, SEO, if you don't know what that is, that's search engine optimization. And that is super important on any platform that you are on. You need to make sure that you know what um, keywords to utilize in your website, on your social media pages to rank your accounts in the search engine. If your account is not correctly optimized, you will be lost in the sauce. So if you can find someone that can help you with this, or if you are good at this, I actually learned this in college, but if you are someone that's good at this and you can offer someone to like help gain more visibility on their accounts, offer it. Guys, don't be afraid to share your services. Someone out there will pay and they will have no issue paying for what you have to offer, I promise you. So the next thing is content monetization, guys. Now this kind of goes into like eBooks and things like that, but you wanna be able to help other people monetize their already existing businesses. So that's kind of what I do with Pinterest. And also I can do this with other social media platforms as well is if you already have a business, if you already have a service-based business or you're already a content creator, I can help you figure out a way to monetize your social media, whether that's through creating digital products, whether that's affiliate marketing, whether that's consultations, like I offer that as a service as well. So see if you can figure out this for other people. If you see someone is doing really good, well at their content, there are people that have millions of followers that still have not monetized their content. So if you can be the one to help them learn how to monetize their content, I'm telling you, people will pay. Now, the next thing is membership sites and services. So if you have started to build an audience for yourself, you build that know, like, and trust with your audience, and you know that they just want everything that you have to offer. Create a membership so that you can keep them engaged with you. You can always give them updates and you can give them a little more sauce and a little more tea than you would give anyone else. So membership sites are amazing. And if you're someone that knows how to set up membership sites so you can help someone and lead and guide them through their process on setting up a membership site for their audience, that can also be a separate service that you offer. So membership sites, guys, are also considered digital products. And this is a great way to get your audience interested in what you're offering, and then you're able to help them monetize that way. But the next thing is social media management tools and services. So develop and sell your social media services. If you know that you can grow a social media account, offer your services to other business owners that are struggling to grow their social media accounts, that are struggling to grow an audience and reach their target audience. I know that I wanted to do this at one point in time. I just had trouble finding my clients until I really learned how to once again market and brand myself and attract my clients to me. But this is a super great way to get started in the game by growing other people's social media accounts, especially if you don't necessarily like being behind the camera, but you know you love creating content, you know you love editing, you know you love scheduling things out, get paid to do this because there's a lot of people and influencers and content creators, even celebrities that are busy. They don't have time to manage their social media accounts. So you can be the one to fill that gap. The next thing is email marketing templates. Now, Of course, we know with any business, you're capturing emails and you have to send out, or you don't have to, but it is very good to send out emails to keep your audience engaged in your email so that they don't unsubscribe and to let them know about any offers that you have coming up. So create email marketing templates for businesses and sell them in a bundle. This is a great way to offer, once again, your copywriting services to any business that is struggling in this aspect. And it's a great way for businesses and content creators to have already done for you templates. Y'all, y'all catch me for their business so that they can go ahead and get it started and get it popping. Okay, and the last thing is fonts. So if you're very good at creating fonts, you're very good at web design and things like that, graphic design, create fonts that other users can download to make their content a little more snazzy, (laughs) okay? So I believe that was 20. I didn't really write them down in order. I should have done that, but I hope that you guys like this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends so that they can have some good ideas as well. 
Also, I wanted to mention that once again, if you're ready to get started, check out the resources in my description. And also you can send me a message on Instagram if you have any questions before getting started. But once again, I love you guys and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye y'all.